This is day one for the shoot for the Chosen the series. We started about one o'clock. We ended around five, a little after five. Um, everything went really smoothly, which is always nice. The first few scenes we shot took place in Beast, which is a 1979 Camaro. Yes, he has a name. Yes, he is a character in the series. And yes, he is a he. That kind of blows people's minds because they want to say she or her. But it took a lot of time to find a male Camaro. So I'd just like to take the opportunity to say thanks to Mom, who did spot him and pointed me in that direction. So thank you again. Like I said, we ended up shooting the first few scenes in the car, and that meant that Stacy would be in some contorted positions while he was running the camera. So thank you very much, Stacy. Camaros are not built for storage space or legroom. They're built for style, and personally, I'm okay with that. The thing that surprised me the most, though, was how much traffic there was between the time we shot. Uh, those things was probably like between 1 and 2.30, 3 o'clock, something like that. There was a lot of traffic, and it's on a Wednesday. So it's like, why the fuck is there so much traffic? Why is it so busy? Even the residential areas that we were cruising around through um, were busy, and that's just fucking insane. So that was a little bit of a shock that made getting those scenes done a little tricky at points, but we managed. We ended up managing to get it done. Um, we shot it during the day. It's supposed to be a night shoot. When I wrote it, I kind of thought I would actually shoot it at night because downtown Lee Summit is really very well lit. I don't know how this the, the new camera I've got would have worked with available lighting there. That's something I need to test on in the future. But downtown Lee Summit is dead after a certain time, so that was kind of what I had in mind. However, with Meg having maybe like a 30-minute drive just to get here, it seemed rude to have late shooting time when it would be easier to just... I say easier now, but I haven't tried, I haven't actually gone through and done it for this shot yet. So it didn't really seem right to schedule a late shoot time just so we could get that, because then she's looking at a half hour drive to get here, however long it takes to film, and then another half an hour getting back. And by that time it's really early in the morning, and driving sleepy or driving while you're tired is no better than driving drunk. So I. I couldn't justify doing that. Now, if she lived within the same block or two, or, or even a couple of blocks, or ten minutes, that's not a big deal. I would definitely have been knocking on the door, and like, hey, let's do this, let's get out there, get the couple of scenes shot, we're good. Let's go. In this case, though, if there's any real traveling done, if I had to, I have, you know, if I absolutely had to to get the shot, I would. But uh, in the same breath, I would want to make sure I was able to offer her, or whoever, I would be shooting this late night shot with a um, mattress in the front room or something so they could crash so they don't have to drive home tired. They can crash and, and head back out the next day. So that took care of the first couple of scenes. The last scene we did took the remainder of the time. And I mean, it's just one scene, but when you see it, it's gonna be, I think it's going to be one of those scenes that behind the scenes is very, very effects heavy just because of the nature of it. We did multiple takes just for coverage, and it was necessary. The scene has three me's in it at any given time. Two of us actually share the screen with Meg, so that required quite a few takes on that. Not to mention the fact that I decided that I didn't want the other me just standing there. I wanted him in motion, so that added to the complexity of the shot. But I think once it's all done and thrown together, it's going to look really amazing. It's also going to be one of those shots that people don't realize how much time it took to get and work on to make it look right. And that's fine, that's the nature of special effects. If you do it right, it should be invisible. Nobody should know. It should just be like, wow, that was, that was pretty fucking cool. And then you go on to the next scene. You know, that's part of, that's part of the story. Again, it's one of those, I, I know I shot myself in the foot a number of times because the 